Hey Gaming Geek here with another quick paint video for Riot Quest. We have two new miniatures that just came out which is Orsus the Unchained and Wolf with No Name. So we're going to be doing a pretty quick how to paint video and as you can see here I'm not doing a lot of highlighting. This is a quick and dirty method to get your miniatures painted and ready to hit the table. So without further ado let's go ahead and go into the tutorial. So here we have Orsus the Unchained and we're going to start off with some Fire Slayer flesh. Now I normally do Gilliman flesh but I wanted to try out a little bit darker color and so that's why I'm going with Fire Slayer but obviously you can go with any of the flesh tones here. It's a little bit challenging because Orsus here has a big belly and to try to make it so that it's not too splashy you want to make sure that you're not uh, letting any of the parts dry so that you're going to create a line uh, over it. So just keep the whole thing wet and try to keep the same consistency going with all of the flesh. But it's pretty simple to stay within all of the boundaries and this is what it looks like with all the skin color. Next we're going to do snake bite leather. One of my favorite browns and we're going to do his pants and so it doesn't have a whole lot there but um, that will color it really nicely and so just fill in all of the colors uh, for his pants and make sure you don't go down into his boots. Next we're going to do Blood Angels Red and we're going to do some of these parts here. His, I don't know what this is but um, his front piece here and then his kneecaps. also his glove up here and I decided to fill in the skulls in his axe uh, I think on the card it shows it being more blue here we're going to take plate metal and just color in all of the parts that is metal and there are a lot of bits on here where you do want to paint metal make sure you get his heels as well on his boots what it looks like with all of the metal painted. And next we're going to do either Seraphim Sepia or Skeleton Horde. You can pick either one and if you want to see my video, pretty much showing that they are all the same. And we're only doing the skulls here. That's the only part where we're using that. Next we're going to use Ironden Yellow, one of my favorite colors, and just color in uh, some of these parts. Now you can choose to use gold instead but I like iron and yellow because it just makes it a little bit brighter. And then now I'm gonna use my craft paint black. I always use craft paint for my black and my white just because I use so much of it and I find it pretty satisfactory in terms of coverage. So I'm going to do all of his strapping, his belt, uh, as well as what he has uh, across or underneath his armpits. So obviously this and the silver is not contrast colors. And so you want it to be opaque and just cover over as thickly as possible. Now we're going to do a wash, either dark tone or null oil. They're basically the very same effect. Again, you can see that video comparing the two. So I'm going to be coloring over all of the silver, including the red within the axe, just to give it more shade. So every part that's metal, go ahead and put this darker shade over it. Here's what our figure looks like so far. On the belly where the staples are, I did water down the red and just put a little slight wash over it as well as the um, scar on his other side. 
And then here I am just putting in white for the pupils. I hate doing eyes. Uh, they're so small, it's so hard to do right. And then I'm also painting white the edge of his glove because I'm gonna be covering that with yellow later. And now I'm doing the pupils with the black and being very careful. It's so hard to get the eyes to look like both pupils are looking in the same spot. But here I think I did a good job. And now I put the eye end in yellow over the white just for the trim around this silver on the glove. And this is what Orsus looks like. I think he turned out pretty well. Now we're gonna do Wolf with No Name. And I'll start off with Snakebite Leather to do his entire body where we see any fur. And so mostly that is his head, his hands, his feet, and then on his right knee. Now we're gonna do Gorgrunta Fur to do his cape. This is Apothecary White for his shirt. It's a very subtle effect, so it's hard to tell here in the video. Next is going to be the Ultramarine Blue for his pants or his jeans. Then we have Wildwood, one of my favorite dark brown colors. We're gonna do his hat, as well as the trim for his bandolier holding the bullets and his gun stock. Next, we're gonna go back to Blood Angels Red and do this secondary scarf piece here, which I chose to do a different color than the rest of his cape, just to have something pop out a little bit more with color. We're gonna grab our black again and do the strap around his hat. And then his nails. Don't forget his toenails as well. We'll go back to plate mail metal and paint only the barrel of his gun. That's the only silver on him. Now we're gonna grab our iron then yellow again and color parts of the gun. Again, you can use gold here instead. And then the trim and tassels around his cape. I also did yellow. Here we have our Null Oil or Dark Tone, either one, and we're gonna go over the silver once again, the barrel, as well as his teeth, just to provide some shading. And there you go, take a look at that. And then we're gonna do Sterling Mud for the base. I did put a piece of tape over the slot and I did pin these models. And here is the finished product. Really, really quick using contrast colors, uh, spray painting at white and putting these paints on makes the job really quick. Go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out my Patreon page as well to see what giveaway we're having for this month. Otherwise, happy painting and have a great time playing Riot Quest.